What's that now? Don't like the cold? Can't stay in today. We have a ritual to perform, you and I. Here. Wear this. It belonged to my daughter. Good. Today, I speak your name, girl. But will the goddess speak it back? Normally, it would be the mother who declares, if you had one. The whole village would attend, and matriarchs perform the ritual. But we are outcasts. Even so, we keep the tribe's rituals. Otherwise, we might become like the faithless old ones who turned their backs on the goddess. But their wickedness doomed them. To us, we're left the splendors of creation, beasts of air, water, earth, and steel. It is one thing to hunt a beast, Another to hunt a machine. You must be humble and respect their power. I will teach you this one day. Matriarch Tirsa. What is she doing here? Does she mean to forbid the ritual? No, 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 off your knees. It's nearly time. And yes, you may speak to me. You came to bless the naming. Have not six months gone by since we entrusted her to you? But we are outcasts. You by choice. And she, well... <laughs> I am a high matriarch, Rost. I bless whom I choose. Then you honor us. Yes, yes, now go! And be ready to declare. Go! Oh, mother, this child needs a name by which to know her, that your love may warm her life as the rising sun warms all the earth. Speak her name! Aloy! And so her name is blessed. Stop this at once! What have you done? I've blessed the naming of a child. Stubborn woman, you call that curse a child? What did she tell you about his birth outcast? Answer! I've done only what you asked. To raise it, yes. We said nothing of love. Enough! And you, blessing its name like it was one I of the I know my duty to the them. Tribe. And to you. Without consultation. Oh, I'm here. Year, and wherever you go, I will follow.
Oh, that's a lot of berries. You're quite the gatherer, aren't you, little bast? Now go and see if you can find some more, hmm? Well done, that's a good boy. Children, come with me. She's an outcast to be shunned. There. Oh, come on. There. Looks tight, but I can get through. This must be a ruin of the metal world. One of the old places. Ross said never go in places like this. But I have to find a way out. There's something up ahead. What's that? A dead person. <clears throat> There's something shiny there.
A metal door, closed. Maybe this device I found can help. More lights. A shape. It's connected to the door somehow. Changed color. The door changed color too. It didn't. What's that? It's got a device. You think I want it this way? It's the best I can do. He's right behind you. Hi! <laughs> Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. <laughs> Look, Daddy can't be there with you and Mom, but we can still have a party, right? <laughs> sure we can. <laughs> Show me. Show me again. I can do. He's right behind you. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. Look, Daddy can't be there with you and Mom, but we can still have a party, right? <laughs> sure we can. <laughs> Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. celebrated last night? Well, we did. Kind of. Director Evans invited everyone to gather in the community room. Don't know where she got the party hats. That was a ghoulish touch. So there we sit, watching the clock tick down to midnight, and I'm thinking, am I the only one who gets the symbolism of this? It might have been worth it if Skylar had gotten drunk again, but I seem to be a mistake she doesn't want to repeat. I saw them lining up in the community room. Like cattle in a slaughterhouse, but smiling at each other. Shauna handing out meds, like being alive is some kind of pain to be eased. Well, not me. I don't want to go quiet. I don't want to trail off. I want a period at the end of my life sentence, not an ellipsis. Hell, <laughs> an exclamation mark. Why did they die here? What happened to them? And Machu Picchu. Always wanted to see that. 
Never did. Why didn't I go with Owen when he asked? Stupid. Should have gone. Well. And pray for us sinners. Now and at the hour of our death. I mean, uh, death. I'm sorry. It's been a while. Oh, these meds Johnny gave us are really something. So, uh, okay, from the top, kids. <clears throat> Hail Mary, full of grace. And maybe that's all I need, you know? That moment the door opened and you were standing there wearing that retro wave dress. And the way you smile, I had to look away, are you gonna see? On my face, what had just... Come, girl. Take my hand. You don't belong down there. Come! <sighs> Such places are forbidden, Aloy. I fell in. They are of the metal world. What is that on your face? Nothing. Did you find it down there? No. Give it to me. No. Aloy, such things are dangerous. No! <sighs> well, if you're gonna go sneaking away from home, you'll need to know how to survive in the wild. Come, Aloy. Home now. But starting tomorrow, you will learn to hunt. Take your bow. Bow? And enough muttering to that plaything. We descend to the valley now. Follow. The wilds can be dangerous, Aloy. You will need to stay close and do as I say. I know. Now, you're still scratched up from that fall you took yesterday. So let's start there. Take this medicine pouch, and I'll show you how to fill it. See this plant over here? It's called Southbrush. 
Come, gather its berries in your pouch. Good. Now eat the berries. Blech. They may taste bitter, but they can save your life. Always keep your pouch full of medicinal berries, flowers, and plants. Where are we? This valley is just a part of All Mother's embrace. Embrace? The Nor tribe watches these lands and keeps out the most dangerous machines, usually. Further down river, we'll find a herd of machines, and I will teach you how to hunt. Are they dangerous? All machines are dangerous, Aloy. Their power must be respected. But I will be beside you. Hmm. Aloy, a machine's coming. Crouch and follow me into the tall grass. There. Now stay low. Little one. No, Aloy. Such machines are called watchers. You must learn to avoid their gaze. If you are to survive in the wilds, I will show you. Listen close and do as I do. Stay still. Wait for it to pass. Now keep low and follow me across the trail to that tall grass. Another one. Let it pass. Come, back this way. The slower you move, the quieter you'll be. And crouched walking is quieter than upright. Wait for it. That's the last of them. Let's move on. You did well. They didn't see or hear you. Now stay close. That herd should be just ahead. Ignore him. But why is he up there? He's smiling at us. Tab! Get back where you belong! Tab! Where are you? Ignore him. We are outcasts and he is of the tribe. Maybe he doesn't like the tribe. Then he is a fool. Come now. Let's find that herd. Follow. There. See them? These are called striders. Get! 
Why'd you chase them off? Huh. To show you how some machines startle easily if they detect you and run away. They're best approached by stealth. Don't worry. We'll catch up with them further down the valley. You'll see. Now, I want you to find some rocks that fit the cup of your hand. Why? Do as I say, Aloy, and gather the rocks. I will show you how to use them. Those will do. Follow. Aloy, over here. There's the herd. All right, it's time to throw some rocks. But rocks can't hurt machines, right? No, but they can distract them, draw them into traps. Like that watcher over there. It must be dealt with, or it will warn the herd and send them running before we get in range. Warn them? How? The machines speak to each other, Aloy, unless they are first silenced. Now you stay here on the ridge. On my signal, throw rocks and draw the Watcher over to me. Wait for my signal. <whistles> Aloy, throw a rock near me. There. Come, girl, it's safe now. Harvest the kill so I can teach you how to make arrows. Harvest the kill, Aloy. Pay attention. Good. Now, gather stalks of Ridgewood from the plants over there. Use the stalks as arrow shafts and metal shards for arrow heads. Good. You'll never run out of arrows if you know how to craft what you need. Let's put those arrows to use. Follow. Here. Stay low on the grass and be quiet. It is time to make your first kill, Aloy. A Strider. One of the weaker machines. But even a weak machine can kill a hunter, if she's careless. You must study your prey. Its hide is thick, but there are spots where it is vulnerable. Like its eye. Can you guess another? Canister on its back. Is that a weakness? Yes. How did you guess that? The device. It showed me. But that plaything? Stop playing games. Now, take down that strider. Target the eye or the canister. And if it charges. Hit! Keep firing! Again!
You did well today, but you have much to learn. Tomorrow, we train again. What was that? That boy. The one running the brave trails. Follow Eloy, quick! Stop telling stories! I'm not! I can sneak through! You will not! to move slowly and quietly so I can sneak past them. Can't let them see me. I need to see their path.
almost there. There he is. Hey! What? How, how is this? Shh. Follow me. How do you know to avoid them? Doing this. Wait. Oh, Mother, bless that girl. B bless you both. She, Boy! She saved me. I, I just wanted... Boy! Uh, Seal your lips! They are outcasts, both. And she is motherless. Come now! Back to Mother's heart. should not have spoken to us. It's against tribal law. We'll go home now. Follow. I know the way. Seal your lips, boy. Seal your lips. Seal your lips, boy. Seal your lips. No, mother. bleeding. Let me have a look. Here, hold still. I'll get it. Why? Shh. Why am I an outcast? Aloy, this is not the time. Who was my mother? Aloy, I've told you before, that's not for us to know. 
You were just a newborn when the Matriarchs brought you to me. So the Matriarchs, they know? It's not so simple. But they know. Aloy, we are outcasts. So how do I make them tell me? The Matriarchs? There is a way, perhaps. So tell me. It would be dangerous. How? It would take years of training. I don't care. How do I do it? Tell me. The proving. The tribe's rite of passage held every year. Those who pass become braves. But to the one who wins, the matriarchs grant a boon. A boon? Yes, whatever the winner wants. Then I'll do it. <laughs> whatever it takes. I'll win the proving. I see. We'd best get started then. Your training will be hard. And it'll take years. Start training? Yes. Follow. Rost? 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 Where is he? Two days before the proving and he goes off without me? He wouldn't do that.
Saving these for the trail. He said we'd go hunting this morning. Why isn't he here? Where's he gone to? What's he doing up there? He's just standing there. What's going on with him? Aloy, you're here. Did you want to be alone? No. We must speak. I've been thinking about your training, Aloy. You've learned to hunt, learned to survive. But I fear there's a lesson I failed to teach you. Would you learn it now? Of course. I'll always learn what you have to teach. There has been some trouble recently. It affords an opportunity to learn this lesson, but it will be dangerous. You must come prepared, or you will die. Descend into the embrace, and hunt until you have gathered the parts for fire arrows. Fire arrows? What kind of trouble are we talking about? Once you have the parts, you will meet me there, at the gate beyond the village of Mother's Heart. Uh, the North Gate? At the edge of the embrace? Yes. Now be on your way. I'll go gather the parts, but I'm also going to pay Karst to visit. Aloy, that man breaks the law every time he speaks to you. <sighs> and I'm glad he does. I want to buy a trip caster, and no other trader will sell to outcasts. Stock it with ammunition, then. You'll find use for that weapon tonight. That sounds ominous. All right, see you at the North Gate. Something's really bothering him. They embrace. My whole life I've never gone beyond this valley. That'll change after the proving. Two days. Two days until I get answers. Two days and I'll know who she was. And why I was cast out at birth. As if there could be an excuse for that. Alright. Time to gather the parts for some fire arrows. I should find a herd.
Here we go again. This will do nicely. Be fascinating if they weren't looking for me. Back to your business.
time to see Karst and get a tripcaster. No one else around. Looks safe to meet. My guess is he'll be waiting for me. There he is. Looks nervous. Well, well, well. An outcast on my doorstep. All mother protect me. Surprised you saw me the way you keep looking every other direction to make sure no one's watching. Careful there, or you'll sprain your neck. It's always a pain in the neck when you show up, girl, one way or another. <laughs> Is there a reason why you're acting so cranky today? Once you run the proving and get made a brave, you'll deal with traitors in Mother's heart. Maybe I don't like losing customers. Traitors who don't break the law and deal with outcasts, you mean? That's right. Our days of crime will be behind us, so long as you keep quiet. Last time I visited, you had a tripcaster available for trade. Still got it? I do. But you'd need to bring me a scrapper lens. What can I say? Special weapons don't come cheap. Oh, I can pay. Took down a scrapper not long ago. Stripped out the lens in perfect condition. I'll be the judge of that. Show me. Now that you've got yourself a tripcaster, practice how to use it someplace else, all right? My life's exciting enough without a bunch of shock wire booby traps to trip over. Really? Could have fooled me. <laughs> Are you worried I'm going to tell someone that you trade with outcasts? I don't think you're the kind who talks, but you never know. You can stop worrying. The secret's safe with me. Yeah, that's what I figured. But I don't mind hearing it. Will you be around later, in case I want to make another trade? I'll be here. Same as usual, bring me the parts you harvest from any machines you hunt. The better the parts, the more shards I'll pay. Be sure to take a close look at my inventory, though. Who knows? Maybe I've got something that could give you an edge in the proving. Why do you take the risk, trading with outcasts? Every time you ask. If a big, meaningful talk is what you're after, move along. It's because you used to be one, isn't it? Yeah. Got caught poking around one of the metal ruins out beyond the Embrace. Matriarch said I was tainted and gave me five years. What did you see in the ruins? Nothing I can make sense of. After my shunning, I tried living back in Mother's heart, but everyone I knew had moved on, and there were so many people everywhere I turned. I like it better out here. The only person I've ever told about our trades is Rost. Yeah, well, not like he can turn me in, even if he wanted to. Law and duty sort of a man, that Rost. I don't know how you stand it. You really don't know why he was cast out? I've told you no. I don't think anyone knows what he did, but it must have been serious because his term is for life. I guess that concludes our business. All right. Good luck in the proving. Blessing of all mother and all that. I've got what I need. Time to meet Rost at the North Gate.
snow. It's not getting any warmer out here. Explosions and shouts from outside the embrace. I wonder what's going on. You have the fire arrows? I do. Those explosions and shouts beyond the embrace. Is that the trouble you were talking about? You will know soon enough. Until then, we wait for dark. Wait for dark? Is something else bothering you? No. I'm fine. I saw Karst and got that tripcaster I was talking about. I hate to think what that outlaw trader charged for a weapon of that make. It wasn't cheap, but the caster is worth it. Well, perhaps. You'll know it's worth soon enough. Are you worrying about what happens... after the proving? What happens is clear. You will be accepted as one of the tribe, and I will still be an outcast. To be shunned. Rost, even if the tribe accepts me, I won't- There is much to do, Aloy. We will discuss this later. <sighs> okay. I don't understand. Those explosions are outside the embrace. What can we do from in here? The lesson will be taught in due time, Aloy. Until then, we wait. Still a while to go before dark. I guess I'll get some rest. Good idea. There'll be no time for sleep tonight.
Opening a gate for an outcast? Some who are shunned reaped honor before disgrace. <sighs> so much for tribal law. I spoke to no one, and now we must both keep silent, for we are outside of the embrace. These are the true wilds, Aloy. With threats unlike any you have ever faced. That carcass? What sort of beast was that? The tribe calls it a sawtooth, and it's something new. Something angry. Since they first started appearing ten years ago, they have killed many braves. <sighs> yeah. Follow the path. It's not far. That cabin. What happened to it? A machine, that's what. What sort of machine does that? The sort of machine you're hunting now. Oh. I see. I'll watch your carcass. I'll harvest the parts. Watch your surroundings. That one. An entire lodge? Wrecked? By... Sawtooths? How many were there? I didn't bring you here to answer questions, Aloy. I brought you here to deal with that. to decide. This hunt is yours to make, Aloy. Yours alone. No matter what happens, I will not intervene. You understand? You are on your own. I should stay out of sight. I can use the tall grass to approach. Okay, let's see. Where can I place my traps? I should scan it. See what that reveals. I should stay out of sight. I can use the tall grass to approach. Okay, let's see. Where can I place my traps?
Don't have ammo for this weapon. Start. It's gone. Why did I bring you here? Not to answer questions. Aloy. Survival requires perfection. It was a test to hone my skills against a dangerous new machine. No. Follow. These are Nora hunting lands. They must be protected. If you hadn't destroyed the Sawtooth, how many braves might it have killed or injured tomorrow? The lesson lives within the question, Aloy. For years, you've trained to win the Proving, but only for yourself. As a brave, it will be your duty to fight for your tribe. My tribe? You said I wouldn't need them. But I never said the tribe wouldn't need you. The strength to stand alone, Aloy, is the strength to make a stand. To serve a purpose greater than yourself. That is the lesson you must learn. And remember it. After the proving. And after I'm gone. We're finished here. Follow. Dawn has passed. This will be your last day in the Embrace as an outcast. Use the time to set your mind on the challenges before you. When it is time for you to go to Mother's Heart, I'll be waiting for you along the way. I understand the final lesson, Rost. Do you? But if I'm going to stand for something, it'll have to be something I believe in. Then I hope you find it, Aloy. I hope you do. I'll go back to the cabin with you. I'm not heading there just yet. I have other plans. Oh. Such as? I'll be waiting for you when it is time. I'll see you at Mother's Heart, then. You will.
Easy, easy. So, it's time. Are you ready? Yes, I guess. It's louder than I expected. You've never been so close before. I guess everything's bigger up close. Soon it'll all seem familiar. Like home. I don't know about that. Look for High Matriarch Tirsa. She'll help you. Any other concerns? Any final lessons before I head in? No. You've learned every lesson the Wilds have to teach. It was you who taught me, not the Wilds. Not sure my bow and spear will be much help in there, though. It is with bow and spear that you'll win what you've wanted all these years, Aloy. Answers. What should I expect once I'm inside? There will be people celebrating and feasting. More than you've ever seen in one place. No other village compares to Mother's Heart. It is the seat of the High Matriarchs. A center of Nora life. A jewel of the sacred land. Give it time. And you'll grow fond of it. As I was. Back when I was at the tribe. I'm ready to do this. See you back home in a few days? You will not find me there, Aloy. Here. Take this to... Remember. Why are you talking like we'll never see each other again? No. No! You should be with the tribe. And I will always be an outcast. But I told you, I have that figured out. I'll come to you in secret. I'll be the one breaking the law, not you. You don't even have to talk to me. This attachment to me will only hold you back. It's my wish that you embrace the tribe. You've lived in isolation long enough. Not until now, I didn't. For your sake, I must go where you will never find me. This... This is goodbye. No. It's not. You taught me how to track. Wherever you go, I can follow. Not this time. This time. And every time. I'll be wearing this when I find you. May all mother bless you, Eloy. And you. I have to let him go. For now. First, the proving. After that, I'll see where his trail leads. You will turn back outcast. Or bleed. Your choice. Make way! Make way! Braves, stand aside. She is welcome here. Mother's heart is open to you, child. Come. I assure you, most Nora aren't so rude as those idiots. You're Tirsa? <laughs> Who else would I be? Come on now. I've been waiting for this day a long time. You have? Oh, yes. But for the moment, I must leave you. I have other outsiders to keep safe tonight. You what? Envoys from another tribe, the Karja, come to observe the proving, and oh, how the Nora hate the Karja. 
Karja. But that's my problem. We will talk later. In the meantime, enjoy the festival. Oh, down the path to the right, you'll find an old friend who can't wait to see you. But I don't know anyone here. <laughs> Try telling him that. We will talk later. May the goddess protect. What is going on? Interesting. It's for the goddess to judge. The Aloy! Goddess, not me. It's you, isn't it? Over here. It is Aloy, isn't it? I'm remembering your name correctly? Are you the old friend Tirsa told me about? I don't know you. <laughs> I see you don't recognize me. Well, it was a long time ago. Teb is my name. You were half my size when you saved me from a herd of machines. I remember. You tried to thank me. I never forgot that day. All these years, I hoped to see you again, if you came to run in the Proving. As you can see, I didn't turn out to be much of a hunter. I served the tribe as a stitcher instead, a maker of garments and armor. In preparation for this day, I've made an outfit for you. I hope you like it. What's it going to cost? Cost? <laughs> Nothing. Consider it the thanks I tried to give years ago. Long overdue. There. Seems to fit you perfectly. Uh, thank you, Teb. I've never had anything like this before. Well, it's yours. I think you'll find it affords more protection than what you were wearing. Every outfit offers some advantage. It's always a trade-off. Anyway, I shouldn't keep you any longer. Head for the Matriarch's Lodge if you want to find Tirsa. You'll know it when you see it. A large wooden building with an angry mob waiting outside. Tirsa said something about envoys from another tribe? Yes, that's what the mob's angry about. Karja visiting our sacred land for the first time in years. I'd expect to see some tomatoes fly, maybe rocks. Hopefully not spears. In any case, be ready to duck. Jog! Get down from there! Bad enough you're drunk. Why do you have to go climbing houses? Listen carefully now. Oh, oh not supposed well, to go to climbing on I'm other gone. people's roofs, huh? In the beginning, all life came from all mother. They're really good. All mother came. Aloy, over here. Karst? What are you doing here? Careful. Pretend like we've never met. I wasn't supposed to trade with outcasts in the wilds, remember? How could I forget? And how generous of you to talk to me now? 
Don't be like that. You know I'll be rooting for you in the proving tomorrow. Can't wait to see the looks on some of these faces when you win. And if you need any last minute supplies, uh, I'm your man. All right, let's do this. See you later, Karst. Good luck. I won't let the Karja faithless stop me from enjoying the festival. What harm can they do now? In a moment, we shall bless the proving. But first, we have guests to welcome. For two years, we have been at peace with the Karja. It is time to restore our bonds of trade with Meridian. These envoys come to us under a banner of peace. Peace. It's peace. <clears throat> An annunciation of gratitude written Killers by the slavers. hand of yeah. Sun King yeah. of Killers and slavers! Uh, hey, hey! Luminance of Hold the... your fruit, nor... Uh, uh. nor a faithful. Hold your fruit. Now, I'm Azaram, not Karja. So I'll put it to you straight. The 13th Sun King was a murderous bung. Oh, he was. He was a tyrant and a monster. Raided my tribe for blood sacrifice, just like yours. My own sister was taken. I hated the Karja. But the 13th King is dead. Two years now. now who killed him? The 14th. Yeah. Not because he, he lusted for power, but because someone had to put an end to his father's atrocities. Yeah! yeah. The message that this poor priest means to read is an apology. Straight from the lips of the 14th king. So please, can't you lend him your ears? Hey, thank you. <clears throat> an enunciation of gratitude Written by the hand of Sun King Avad, 14th luminance of the Radiant Line. <clears throat> Did you see those Karja walk past? Oh, On the eve of your unknown device detectives. detectives. No, he's wearing a focus hat, just like mine. As the sun's light the the You're the only other person I've ever seen wearing a focus. Where did you get yours? What? Anora? Wearing one of these? That's impossible. Your tribe fears the old places, forbids them. Who says I'm like other Nora? Why, uh, I guess you're not. If you've gone delving in the ruins of the metal world. Ah! What's wrong? Apologies. Uh, a malfunction. Oh, Lynn? You making friends with locals, are we? I'll... I'll come back. Wait. No. Uh, we'll talk later. Have to go. Whoa. Well, I guess he's more hungover than I thought. <laughs> hey. You got the same trinket that Olin has on his head. Since when did those become fashionable? His name is Olin? Who is he? And where did he get one of these? Ah, he's just a scrounger with friends in high places. Now he spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other half drinking or dicing. As for the trinket, well, I guess he dug it up somewhere. Just a weird old jewel he sticks on his face. I mean, no offense, it looks great on you. I thought your friend was gonna go down in a hail of fruit, but you really calmed the crowd. Uh, thanks. I, I wasn't sure I could do it. Lenora is still pissed with the Karja about the Red Raids. And who can blame them? What else do you know about Olin? Well, is he really that interesting? I'm starting to get jealous. Well, he scours the wilds for ruins, digs up stuff, and sells it to nobles. When he's not scrounging, he's scouting. Exactly the skills you want the man guiding your expedition to have. I've known him for a few years. He's a loyal companion, cares for his family, holds his drink well enough. I like him, but besides that, not much to tell. I've never seen armor like yours before. You've never seen Vanguard steel? 
Now let me introduce you. Ring locked, impact protected, sturdy enough to choke a sawtooth. It has to be. The vanguard of the Sun King's best. Life takers and machine breakers to a one. They might even give a Nora war maid like you more trouble than she can handle. <laughs> With all that metal to slow you down? I doubt it. Yeah, hard to say. From where I'm standing, looks like a pretty even match. I wanted to ask you something else. Hey, if you want. But I'll also be around after that blessing thing, if that'd be a better time to talk. I never heard anything about Red Raids growing up. What were those? Your tribe was at war and you didn't even know? <laughs> were you kept hidden away? Did you have overprotective parents or something? I grew up as an outcast, shunned by the tribe. Oh, yeah, I've heard the Nora do that. That seems cruel, if you ask me. But even an outcast knows about the derangement of the machines, right? How they get deadlier every year? Well, the mad Sun King figured if he spilled enough blood to the Sun God, it would calm the machines. Didn't work. But for years, he raided the tribes and took captives for sacrifice. My sister among them. The Nora put up a good fight, but lives were lost. You said the machines have been getting more dangerous every year. Yeah. I don't have to tell you that, right? First I've heard of it. Oh, sorry, I just assumed everyone knew. Well, the way I hear it, 15, 20 years ago, the machines weren't always pissed off like they are now. When a hunter came at them, they'd spook and run. So it was hard to take them down, but not dangerous, so long as you were smart enough to jump out of the way. But then the derangement starts up and Everything changes. Now, when a hunter fires a shot, the machines snarl and charge right at him. A few more years pass and they start attacking people on sight. Going anywhere becomes a major risk. If that wasn't bad enough, entirely new kinds of machines start showing up. Bigger, meaner, and heavily armed. Like the Sawtooth? Yeah, ten years ago, that one. But every couple of years or so, something worse comes along, believe me. So what's making it happen? Well, no one knows. And the machines, well, they aren't telling. Your sister was taken captive and sacrificed. That's terrible. <laughs> captive, yes. Sacrificed, no. It takes more than a few Karja to finish Ursa. She got away, and now she's my captain. Captain of the entire Vanguard, favored by the Sun King himself. How did she survive? Oh, well, that's a story, all right, but it takes a while to tell. Maybe another time over a drink or three? Or just come to Meridian and meet her yourself. I think you'd like each other. You're both rather, uh, direct. I want to ask you about something you said before. Ask away. Tell me about Olin again. When he's not scrap, I've... I should make my way to the Blessing. Yeah. Look, maybe I shouldn't say this, but... It's obvious that you don't belong in this backwater. I mean, you're smart. You're obviously capable, and... Well, I mean, look at you. Uh, what are you talking about? You know what. All right, if you ever visit Meridian, look me up. I'll show you around, make introductions. It'd be a whole new life, if you want it. Anyway, I have to go to that blessing thing, too. So, uh, see you around, maybe? Are you supposed to forget what the Kaja did to our tribe? How am I supposed to enjoy myself with those bloodthirsty Karja faceless hanging up?
We'll start the blessing when all aspirants are in place. Aloy, take your place right there. The prayer lantern is yours. I made it for you. Blasphemy, sisters. Aspirants, before each of you sits a prayer lantern crafted by your mother. In her honor, light its flame. In honor of Rost. And all he did to help me get here. All mother, hear our prayer! What is the child but a mother's hope that takes flight? A glowing flame that climbs the air, set free to the wind, sailing the sky till it fades and falls. So, from one to another, passes the chain of love. Romance. There's Olin. I have some questions for him. It's for the goddess to judge the Karja. I don't listen to anyone who doesn't speak the generation. should be left in the past. Are we supposed to forget what the Karja did to our tribe? All mother, give me strength. You're taller than I can't mother. wait for festival times. We meet Hello, all. Olin. You know my name. Ah. Guess Aaron told you. Why did you act so strange when we spoke earlier? Must be this festival. I'm really not one for crowds. Maybe I should just turn in. Stop dodging my questions. All right, cool your fire. I got nothing to hide. I've never seen anyone else with a focus. Where exactly did you find it? In a ruin, north of the Claim. That's our name for the Asaram homeland. Up there, the metal seams run deep, steel giants half buried in loose soil, forgotten caves that the old ones bored into mountain rock. Your eyes just lit up. I found my focus in a cave just like you're describing, a ruin of the old ones. If you've dealt yourself, you know as much as I do. Go to those places for answers, not me. When we spoke earlier, you winced, then looked like you were in pain. Or frightened. Did your focus show you something? It didn't show me anything. I told you. It malfunctioned. Happens all the time. You're not a very convincing liar. Do you always accuse people you've just met of lying? Only the ones who aren't telling the truth. Fire and spit, girl. I'm a plain hammered man with nothing to hide. You don't believe me? That's your trouble, not mine. I don't understand. We have this device in common, but you can't wait to stop talking to me. <sighs> I already have all the friends I need, girl. I don't need to bother. I'm used to being shunned by the tribe. I thought you'd be different. It's nothing personal. It really isn't. You should... try to enjoy yourself tonight. Big day tomorrow. Always best to make every day count. Is it just me? Is her still a bit off this year? These tears have been getting mask for the win. And Lambs are ones anyone but her to win. Chuff. What did you say? Find your bed, outcast, and dream of winning the proving. That's the closest you're gonna get. Oh, this is the bed house? With you standing guard? I figured it was the latrine. Your, your very presence here! 
Well, well. Look who's come in from the wild. The motherless outcast. <laughs> I see you've still got a scar from where that rock I threw hit you. Now that's a cherished memory. You can be a real lard sometimes, boss. Cut it out. Well, I won't let the Cards of Faithless stop me from enjoying the festival. What harm can they do now? We saw you talking with the outsiders. Couldn't convince boss, them to me. take you either, huh? Aw, you even try to dress like a real Nora. Not that it fools anyone. So this is how it's gonna be with you, is it? This is how it's gonna be with everyone, outcast. You belong in the wilds, not Mother's heart. And you definitely don't belong in the Proving. The only way you know how to feel strong is to make someone else feel weak. It's not working. <laughs> I've trained all my life. You'll see tomorrow how strong I am. Oh, I've seen plenty. You grew a man's body, kind of. But down deep, you're still a scrawny little brat. You know, I often think of the day I gave you that scar. It's a cherished memory. Yeah, the look on your face when I knocked that stone out of your hand was pretty entertaining. But I suppose you leave that part of the story out when you tell it, don't you? I branded you that day to mark your shame. All you did that day was make me stronger. Just wait. I'll show you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, right. This is boring. Time for Boss to get some sleep. You'll be the one surprised tomorrow, Outcast. Not me. Oh, are you gonna shut your mouth? Because that would be a surprise. Nice job handling Boss. That should keep him quiet. Till morning, anyway. I don't believe we've met. I'm Aloy. Oh, I know who you are. The competition. The others, they'll finish the proving. Most of them. But win it? That's down to Bost, you, or me. Vala. Nice to meet you, Vala. You're right. I am going to win tomorrow. Never celebrate a victory before it's earned, girl. My mother taught me that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna get some sleep. I plan to be well rested when I run you into the ground tomorrow. <laughs> Your bunk's right there when you want it. Okay. Thanks. So? Your first day in Mother's Heart. What do you think? You've never slept in a Nora Lodge before. Not very private. It's loud, and it stinks, and the people are... <sighs> idiots. Mm. All these people who kept me out. And now here I am, stuck inside with them. I think you'll find more to like in the days ahead. Get some rest. Ready yourselves! What will it take to get you out of here? Looks like a grazer! This one will go quietly.
<laughs> Your trophy is shattered, outcast. Looks like you'll need another. Catch up. 
slow and steady now. All you need is to finish. That makes all but one. Is the outcast coming? She was behind me. Look strong, I thought. Dead last, girl. Might as well walk from here. Boss will win, Urvala. But you'll be made a brave so long as you finish. Oh, now. That's an old trail. Two died on it last year. It's falling apart. Better dead last than dead altogether. Whoa, 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 whoa! By all mother, are you crazy? You're gonna kill yourself! It doesn't get any easier! You're insane to go that way! That's it. No way but forward Just now. Stop right there. Just turn around and climb back. Who's up. in the lead? You don't want to do I this, can't girl. see. Bus, the follow right behind. Come on now. Faster. Stop dragging. Hey, Gotta keep going. going. The outcast. On the old trail? Is she crazy? Good. I'm gaining. The outcast is catching up! How'd she get up there? This is gonna be close. Made it. Come on now, hurry. Keep at it. <laughs> I've trained my whole life for this. They had a tribe, but I had the wilds. Precision. Not enough. Must be... Perfect. Come on, come on, you can make it. Can't let them beat me now. An outcast? Win the proving? Never. For she is a brave now. You did it. As are you all. So long as you put your trophy on the altar. But it is Aloy. Once outcast, and now brave who is first among you. Hey, like, go! Keep them pinned down till the others arrive. We can't stay here. That's the way out. But we won't make it under fire. They can't shoot if they're dead. Keep them busy. I'll find an angle. Fast! Fast! Are you with us? I'm with you! Let's go. Now! Kill them! Too many of them! We can't win! Can't hold them! Oh, Mother, help us! 
Kill the defilers! Kill the invaders! They're too strong! We can't stop them! Kill them all! No witnesses, no survivors! Her oh, own mother! Hurt. Here we go. Oh no! There's more! They keep coming! How many are there? Get back in there and fight! Only one way out of this. Fight! Too many of them! On the ridge. There's more of them. We can't hold them! Oh, mother, help us! Yeah! Watch out! There's more of them! Oh, no! There's more! They keep coming! How many are there? The shadow will reach you wherever you are! Descend while we have a chance. Get back! Ah! Fala! Fala! No! Wow! The red hair dies now! Everyone! Forward!
Nothing is... As you command.
She is dying. <gasps> to take her there is blasphemy. She should be near her mother. have found me before I bled out. But why is no one here? Where am I? I need to find my focus. My clothes, good. But where's my focus? It's here, okay. Wait. Am I inside the sacred mountain? But only matriarchs are allowed inside. I... I don't see my bow here. Or that... Damaged focus, the one I took off that killer. Where are they? I should keep looking. Picking up some kind of signal. It looks like the ruins I fell into when I was young. The Nora didn't build this place, the old ones did. But why? It must be the damaged focus, the one I took from that. There! with the rest of my things. Excavations and proceed at once to the mission point. Avoid all contact with Nora's savages. But if you are seen, kill every witness. Target imaging attached. Do not fail. Target imaging. Huh. 
Who says I'm like other Nora? They saw me through Owen's focus. How is that possible? Then make it quick. I'm heading in. Hold for identity scan. You need to stop listening to Ted and start listening to me. Where's this from? And when? Are you my mother? Why try to kill me just because I look like you? Aloy, you are awake. You brought me here? Quickly, you must follow. To where? To the place where you were born. Are you saying I was born here? Inside the mountain? It is easier if I show you. Why did you bring me here? It seemed you were dying, and to die near one's mother is sacred. Lanthra fought it, of course, but Jezza sided with me. Is my mother here? Am I going to meet her? It's complicated. Please, just follow me. Does my mother look like me, but with short hair? I don't see how that could be. You were not born of a woman, Aloy. The mountain is your mother. I'm... what? What are you talking about? Come. What is this place? The Great Chamber, where all mother slew the Metal Devil and gave birth to you. Aloy, the Proving Massacre was just the first of many disasters. The war party we sent after the killers was ambushed and slaughtered. But what does that have to do with where I was born? My hope is... everything. This is where we found you. We heard your cries, came to look, and there you were. Just... just lying there? Yes. You mean I came from behind the door? Always, that is what I have believed. That you came from the womb of the mountain. A gift from all mother herself. But others, like Lanzra, feared that a darker power put you here. Not a gift, but a curse. But this isn't a goddess. Aloy! It's a door. With people behind it. My mother? <gasps> oh! Hold for identity scan. The goddess speaks. Just like the woman I saw. Error. Alpha registry corrupted. Identity cannot be confirmed. Entry denied. No. No.
Aloy, all Mother spoke to you, as if she knew you. Were you not listening? It didn't recognize me. Because of corruption, the Goddess's own words. Surely, if you heal this corruption, she will see you clearly. And how would I do that? You said you've had visions. Of a woman with short hair. The killers came for me, because I look like her. But their power is overwhelming. Is there no other trail to follow? Owen. He was one of the outsiders, the night before the proving. The killer saw me through his eyes. He lives in Meridian. So you will have to leave the Sacred Land. I've been an outcast all my life. Why not an exile too? Shh. There is another way. Come, and we will make it so. You said the tribe was on the brink of extinction. What happened? After the massacre at the Proving, a great war party was sent after the killers. Less than half survived. Uh, how was the war party defeated? The killers do not fight alone. Somehow they have a power over the machines, corrupting them, driving them mad. So the killers got away? Yes. And now, the only plan my sister matriarchs can agree to is to sing the Hymn of Atonement and beg for All Mother's mercy. As though she would not want us to help ourselves! Then, what's your plan? This. This was my plan. To show you where you were born and loose you to follow the destiny All Mother intended for you! The other High Matriarchs are waiting for us. Let me do the talking. It is done? Yes. I showed her. Sisters, the goddess spoke to Aloy. Told her to heal the corruption. Ha! But how is she to do that? She will have to journey beyond our sacred land. A seeker? If the goddess spoke, it must be so. You would name this thing a seeker? Sister! For once, Lanzra, join with us. This will be your sin, not mine. Send her seeking, and may she never be seen again. Aloy, by the holy grace of the One Goddess, we hereby anoint you a seeker of the Nora tribe. No barrier can now stay you from your sacred task. May All Mother protect you and sustain you. Stay true. I will make ready for the hymn. Our hopes lie with you. Tirsa, what's a seeker? You are. And here is your mark. In times of great need, the High Matriarchs may anoint a seeker. A worthy brave sent forth to accomplish a great purpose. No matter where that purpose might take her. Even beyond the borders of the Sacred Land? Yes. And with the right to return when you are done, or as the need arises. You said the Nora sent a war party after the killers. Yes. But it was ambushed and overrun. Very few escaped alive. And most that did were wounded. Do you know where the killers went? No. But you could ask Varl, one of the braves guarding the gates of the Embrace. He survived the ambush. He would know more. I should be on my way. From here, you must go to the gates of the Embrace. Speak to Varl, 
and he will point the way to Meridian. If any Nora tries to stand in your way, Aloy, make sure they know you are a seeker. Oh, I will. Thank you, Tirsa, for all you've done. May all mother bless you and watch over you. Let the cards of faith Nora faithful. We will soon begin. Purify your hearts. Soon we will beg forgiveness for the sins that brought such misery on the tribe. When we hear the making. The outcast girl. So she survived her wounds. Well, she's an outcast. She saved many lives. The tribe is lucky to have her. the rumors, but I didn't know for sure until I saw you just now. I'm glad to see you're okay. What sort of rumors did you hear? That you were wounded, expected to die. And then High Matriarch Tirsa insisted that you be allowed to heal inside All Mother. Huh. That caused a stir. Only matriarchs are allowed to enter the mountain, but you deserve the honor. The survivors had told everyone how you fought to save them. I wasn't the only one to fight. No. They spoke of Bast and Vala, too. And Rost, the man who raised me. He... he fought to save me, and he died for it. The survivors didn't speak of him. But I remember him. He was there that day when you saved me. I remember he stepped in front of you when my father started yelling. If by dying he saved your life, Aloy, I don't think he regretted it. I should be on my way, Teb. Be safe, Aloy. Ah, the outcast approaches. Ignore her. Continue the report. There are rumors of a demon loose in the embrace. A, a thing of dark metal that corrupts every machine it touches. <laughs> Where did it come from? They say it broke through the gates of the embrace. I need the gate opened. <laughs> Since when has any outcast's need been my concern? I recognize you from the proving. You saw boss shatter my trophy. And you did nothing. You would speak ill of the dead? Truly you have no shame. I nearly put an arrow through your eye. And you threaten me in front of witnesses? When the High Matriarchs hear of this, you'll be an outcast all over again. I've been anointed a Seeker. So open the gate. You? A Seeker? Have Tissa and Jezza gone insane? Bad enough that they let you run in the proving. But to nurse you back to health inside the sacred mountain? <sighs> no wonder a curse is upon us and children lie dead under cairns of stone. If you think Tirsa and Jezza are traitors, why don't you head up the mountain and say that to their faces? Or do you only talk big when your superiors aren't around? I am the Nora War Chief. And I am a seeker, so do as you're told and open the gate. <sighs> the sooner you're gone from here, the better. What was that?
By the goddess, what you doing to them? Taking control. Brace yourselves! What have you brought on us now, you motherless curse? Kill them, Braves! Kill them all! Braves, ready yourselves! Today we fight a curse! A demon! Oh, Mother, give us strength! Won't be long. Gotta get in position. Here it comes. Attack! Watch the Striders! It's driven them mad!
less thing to think about. The killers about. at the proving. How does a machine like that take control of all those striders? I need to know how that machine took possession of those striders. Maybe my focus can tell me how that machine controlled the other ones. How does it possess other machines? How'd you do it? Show me. <laughs> you made them obey you. How? This. You did it with this. It's connecting to my focus. Then I could use this. It's worth a shot. Couple loops of wire. Looks like it'll hold. I just need to test it. Aloy! How did you do that? You killed that demon. Pulled its guts from the carcass. The way it controls other machines. I think I've figured it out. But I need to test it on a machine. Uh, plenty of striders along the path to the gates of the Embrace, I guess. Exactly. And the gates are where I'll be headed anyway. I need to speak to Varl. I always knew you were different, Aloy, but... But what? I think you're a blessing from all mother. No matter what Ress says. <laughs> Thank you, Teb. But I have to go now. I know you do. And my thoughts go with you. I can't bear to look at the crew. Graves! I want that gate repaired immediately. I don't care if you have to bandage it together. Get it done. There's heavy with rain. I need to find a machine and see what this device can do. 